First ready. time, huh? Yeah, I'm a long time. I've done one time with some long time. Yeah. Oh. Oh, are you good at yourself? Yeah, I've done every Yeah. And this is my, my buddy Eric. He's yeah, What's up, man? Yeah, I've seen him filming all week. So. Yeah. Oh, man. How you feel? Sore. I yeah. I said they off. I was, See, me my too. He was swollen up on me. Uh -oh. My shoulder was all jacked up. Oh, this would be good for you then. There's yeah. nothing like, like any specific thing. It's like my body is like yeah. taking it easy. That's you how know? I feel. Like just everything's feeling fatigued. Yeah. It'll be good to get some recovery. That's how I feel. What's up? What's up? I like the smell. Yeah, That's pretty empty in here today. Nice to meet you, man. What's up? Yeah, it's empty. What's up, my guy? How you doing, man? Nice to see you. Oh, oh, Sorry. Kimbo here? Yeah, she's uh, setting someone up on Double Tech right now. Slicer! <laughs> Benefits of these is basically we're getting, a, getting rid of inflammation by chilling your uh, central nervous system by going into extremely cold uh, chamber, and then when, we, when they get out, we'll have them warm back up. And I'm doing an awful job right now. No, you're sorry. good. You're good. Um, basically, to eliminate in inflammation through uh, cold based therapy. So, gonna set them into a really cold chamber right now. Gonna have them move around, gonna stretch out in there, and when they get back out, we're gonna have them thaw off a little bit. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be great, man. They're gonna be feeling Wait. good. They're gonna be feeling good for sure. <laughs> yeah, so the guy popped in my head like, yeah. Oh, those are cute. Look at those in there. Yeah, I know. I have them with white tea. Yep. I'm not ready, dude. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Uh, I'm covering my nips. You ready? Yeah, there you are. Great. So first yeah. things first, you right, your pants first, you and then you can Make do sure all of it as you're doing. Oh, shoot. Ears are going to be <laughs> covered. Ready? All right, yeah, you're all set, my guy. All right. Two and a half. Two and a half? Okay, okay let's try to do it. What is love? those nipples up. <laughs> They're hurting. Thank you. What's up guys? It is uh, a little after six. Um, just basically been resting, got some good lunch. Just kind of been resting, chilling. Um, I'm gonna start cooking dinner now. We got a uh, some elk, we got ground elk that we're gonna be making like a nice pasta. So uh, tomorrow is my sparring, really hard day, so I like to kind of emulate what I do the day before fight, so usually I kind of carb load. So for dinner I usually do some kind of wild game pasta. Tonight it is ground elk. I get a lot of videos, or sorry, comments on my videos, people, you know, talking about all the wild game that I eat and like wanting to see different things that I cook. This is probably one of my like, favorite wild game meals, just super, super easy. You can put any type of vegetables you want in the sauce. I like to do, um, we have some homegrown basil, um, mushrooms, you can throw some tomatoes, onions, really whatever you want. Saute it down, cook the meat with it, then you throw the sauce in. You can do homemade sauce if you want, but most people don't have time for that. So, it's super easy though, and this one, it's really good. I really like mushrooms, so I try to put a lot in there. These things really shrink down a lot too, so. Get mushrooms everywhere.
So we do a little bit of olive oil in there. Just gonna get it hot before I saute all the vegetables in it. Good way to add some healthy fat. A lot of the wild game stuff, super, super lean. So for me, the olive oil, sometimes I add coconut oil, avocado oil, even just add avocados for the fats that I need. <laughs> no sizzle, dude. No sizzle. We didn't wait long enough. <laughs> I got too excited. Get in there. Where'd you learn how to cook? Um, I think my dad's a really my big time cooker. He always cooked everything when we were growing up. So I think from him, but that's where I started it. But I think cutting weight, I started cutting weight for wrestling in high school. And uh, I think that's where I kind of fell in love with food because <laughs> I couldn't eat it. I remember watching like the Food Channel when I was cutting weight, just like drooling over what they were making. And just thinking, oh, after season, I'm going to make that. It's going to be so good. And I think that's where I uh, ended up just falling in love with, with food and, like, learning how to cook. I really like cooking. I mean, it's something I enjoy. Food, me and food have a weird relationship. But it's a love-hate for sure. What's the key to a good spaghetti sauce? Um, lots of elk. <laughs> for me, it's garlic, fresh basil and really good tomatoes, I think, are what make a good sauce. The right amount of meat to sauce ratio. You don't want it too, too meaty, but you don't want it under meated either. I think that's one pound. That's usually pretty good. With like a jar, jar and a half. If I do like the just jarred stuff. All right, we got the elk going in. My favorite part. Oh shoot, I forgot it was plastic. Plastic on plastic. All right. Catch it? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I got all of them. Ah! Yep. Yeah. Here goes the sauce. Boom. This is just uh, some wild mushroom. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. But it's delicious. Oh, I better be careful. Abby's going to be pissed. Easy, yeah. easy. Not yet. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Carb load, baby. I think Tuesday night's my favorite night. Try to get a bigger spoon. See, that's a perfect ratio. Not too meaty, not too saucy. Just right. <laughs> Bam! Yeah. What's popping off? That right there makes me excited. That's my happy place. There it is, guys. The final product. I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna grub, and that is a wrap for another day in camp. We'll see you guys next time.